Hello lovely people, today I will show you where we get our meat from the slaughterhouse. It, it's a journey. So one of the things I decided to do after I recovered from COVID is to increase my intake of yogurt. You all know we make our own yogurt around here. If you haven't checked out that video, please do so. But I realized I was not taking enough. So I decided I'm going to increase one more intake of yogurt in my day. And that's what I'm going to show you. That's what I'm having for lunch. It's very easy to make and let's get to it. This is a very simple snack that I like to make. Uh, I use the natural yogurt that we make here at home. And then all I do is I add a mixture of seeds that I have. We have pumpkin seeds in there, sunflower seeds, flax seeds, a number of seeds that I will write here because I found they are very good for the, the digestive system great fiber and also great for regulation of hormones and then I add some honey also which is good for the gut and this is basically a nice snack it's very filling actually I take it for lunch after I take this I don't necessarily need to eat anything but I also like to take it together with my vitamin C supplement which I am still taking up to today and will probably keep taking until COVID is over because of yeah what I went through so basically as I was eating, I also decided to write my shopping list. It's actually very tasty. So off I go to buy meat. Don't worry, I'm not driving. I have a very handsome chauffeur who drives me everywhere i want to go and what we are going to buy is six kilos of beef i uh, will also look for eggs because eggs are very cheap there and hopefully one or two goat legs i've been having a craving for nyama choma and my husband makes the best grilled goat leg ever so we'll see if we can find one or two good legs there and cabbage yeah so let's see how this goes and i totally forgot to tell you that the slaughterhouse that we go to it's in dagoretti not dagoretti corner yes there's a difference so this is the market thankfully we went on a dry day you don't want to go there when it is wet because it is just chaotic and there are some shops on both sides and then now you go straight to the end and this is actually inside the slaughterhouse unfortunately we found that they had ran out of meat so what we did is we went to one of the butcheries that is right next to the slaughterhouse the price difference is about 10 shillings to 15 shillings per kilo so it wasn't so bad but we'd have preferred to buy straight from the slaughterhouse itself so yeah we went to this shop this guy had it was basically fresh meat for that day and yeah we bargained and we i think we got a fair price and yeah so it's what he was cutting for us but he didn't have the machine for cutting the bones so we had to go to a separate shop where they could cut the bones for us and actually they charged us i think 10 shillings per kilo yeah which is what they were doing here so even if you buy meat straight inside the slaughterhouse you will probably still need to pay someone to cut the bones for you because they actually give you just a whole chunk of the of the of the meat which is really big then we went okay there are two different slaughterhouses let me differentiate that so there's one for goat meat and then there's one for beef so here here we went to the one for goat meat again we found they had ran out because we went so late but we were able to buy just one goat leg we we didn't have much choice which was a bit sad but anyway what we got was still to still a good rate then we decided to go we were still looking for a place to buy eggs but that's slightly outside of the market and then just outside the market there's a the outside the slaughterhouse is a small market here where you can buy your groceries which is where we bought our our cabbage and our our fruits and everything else and then there's a shop right there next to where we, they were selling eggs at 
300 shillings. And then we went home. And so we went to the slaughterhouse and this is what we came back with. We came back home a bit late, so we had to first go through having dinner with the kids, sharing them, putting them to bed, and now I'm ready to show you. Wait, first of all, I need to address the nation. <clears throat> Today, for the first time ever, 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 my kids showered themselves. Yay! Ever. As in like I had decided I was going to take this time to teach my kids how to shower themselves. At least my, my firstborn and then the twins who are four. So, uh, the twins are four years old. <laughs> They're not four twins. <laughs> okay, yeah. So now, we've been practicing and practicing, pra pra practicing and practicing and today they were finally able to shower. I'm telling you guys, it's going to be on the news. In fact, the CNN guys have just left and Al Jazeera guys are about to get here because this is serious. This should be made into a national holiday. Do you know how much work it takes to shower four kids every single day? Eh, but I love them and they anyway. They shower, don't say. Oh, okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay, back to the slaughterhouse stories. So this is what I bought. Let me bring you a bit closer and then you will see. So we bought eggs, we bought a tray. This time we found them to be a bit expensive because normally the last time we were there we bought them at 300 shillings per tray. But today they were so adamant they completely refused to lower the price to 300. So we bought at 330. So normally a tray takes us about between 10 to 14 days. Uh, so we normally use two trees, two, two and a half trees per month. So let me put this away. There's a market just there outside the slaughterhouse and we needed to replenish our fruits. These bananas were going for three for 20 bob. Normally we buy one for, okay, here around the estate it's about one for 10 bob. So three for 20 bob was actually quite a steal. Uh, of course, at Marie Kitty Market, I buy them a bit cheaper than that. So, and hey, have you guys noticed this amazing fruit bowl? Yeah, I love it. It's from Mahometic Furniture. I have a link it down below. It's made of pure wood. Really cool stuff. So, I need this for cleaning the fruits. Then I bought uh, just for apples. My kids have been asking me for apples. I'm not an apple buyer normally because I find them to be just too costly for no reason but i bought this at a hundred so I was like yay nice treat for my kids i bought these tangerines six for 50 bob yeah these ones will need to be washed ah uh, this avocado i bought one for 30 bob and then the cabbage one was 50 bob. I think they are humongous. I love them. This is about as much as I would pay for them at Marie Kitty Market. So we made a few mistakes at the, the slaughterhouse, which I will share with you. But before we get there, let's first, let me just show you what we got. So we bought uh, seven kilos of beef and a goat leg. Okay. So this is the beef. Uh, the beef, the beef is right here. They were a bit expensive today, honestly, because we paid 330 shillings for a kilo. Normally, we pay between 280 and 300. So it felt a bit bad, but it was still cheaper than paying 600 per kilo. So. It has some nice bones which I'm going to use to make stock for cooking and a sizable amount of meat. So basically this will last us for two. I would highly recommend that when you go to, my, to the slaughterhouse to buy enough for more than one month. If you're batch cooking, you guys know I love batch cooking. So we cook enough for one month. 
and just to have because that place is a bit out of the way anyway so i would suggest you just buy enough for two months so that you only have to go there once every two months but that's me i don't know about you let me know in the comments below what you would do so that's the beef and here we got the goat leg are clean people yep there we go this was going for 400 shillings per kilo we were hoping to have it for dinner but now time went the way it went so I'm really looking forward to having some roast goat leg tomorrow for dinner with ugali and cabbage and my hubby who is the master roaster of goat leg is going to do that for us i think he's going to marinate it tonight before we sleep the other thing we've never been able to buy at the slaughterhouse is chicken because they sell whole chicken and we normally prefer to buy just the leg uh because we think it's more economical uh, more economical because when you buy the whole leg the thigh the drumstick and everything we get to eat most of it as opposed to buying the whole chicken then you have the neck you have no idea what to do with it you have the back no no how to cut it up nicely you have the wings you have zero meat okay i do like some nice chicken wings. but basically anyway what i'm saying is we prefer to buy the leg just the leg of the chicken so we normally go uh, to, to city markets and buy just like seven kilos of, of legs yeah just legs and uh, they normally great enough to skin them for me which is really nice but 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 i am really looking for a cheaper supplier of chicken legs normally we buy them for 350 shillings per kilo if anyone knows where i can get them cheaper than that just the leg not the whole chicken and i mean broiler i don't mean the kenyaji type because i've never understood uh the whole fast about kenyaji chicken and kenyaji eggs please please don't throw stones at me i am just a clueless mother who is very willing to learn so you can let me know why i should spend an arm and a leg to buy kenyaji chicken and not broilers chicken is chicken meat is meat but if you know where i can get nice chicken legs broiler that are just the legs i would really appreciate for you to let me know in the comments below at city market i buy at 350 no it's 380 actually the price went up this year so anything cheaper than that i am very interested i am such a money saving human being i'm looking for any opportunity to save money to get out of debt to get out of the drums is baby step number two if you have no idea what i'm talking about i will link that video to this one now let me smile at this guy and see whether he will let us uh, watch him my meeting the good leg yes yes subscribe if you haven't thank you
It's 24 hours later and our dinner is ready. I am so excited to try this roast goat leg. It's going to be amazing. And as it gets prepared, let me tell you about the four mistakes that we made when we went to the slaughterhouse. So the mistake we made this time, mistake number one, is we went too late. You remember I was telling you guys, oh, I'm going to have lunch and then we go to the slaughterhouse. Oh my gosh, we got there so late. So the best time to go is between 10 a.m. in the morning and 2 p.m. in the afternoon. So that way, if you go too early, there'll be too much activity going on because of the wholesale guys are buying. And if you go too late, then you won't have much of a choice. So basically, just go between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Now, the second mistake we made, well, not this time, but the other time, is that we went with the wrong attire. Now that's a place to go with gumboots basically. It's, it's, just, it's best to go with gumboots and an overall, a white overall if you can. But there are usually guys there who have some for hiring. If you don't have your own, you can, you can just hire those ones. You know Kenyans are very enterprising, so yeah. So that's the second mistake that we did. The third mistake that we did, well, not this time, but the previous time that we went is we didn't carry our own shopping bags. Now, you know, nowadays there's no shopping bags and no polythene bags. So the only bags that we could buy there last time were these, you know, these ones, the new bags that we have, which are not waterproof. So by the time we had gotten home, most of the meat juices had poured. So basically, carry your own. You'll need polythene bags. Either that or go with go with a container to carry your meat but go with something that can hold your meat it's really crucial mistake number four that we made is mincing the meat there now we sometimes like to have minced meat for making meatballs or just you know a nice uh minced meat stew but we tried to mince it there last time but you have to pay they charge like 15 shillings per kilo to mince your meat but we sort of felt like the place where we took our meat to be means they didn't they didn't give us all of our meat back yeah we got like per kilo we got like 200 grams less that's a huge huge loss so i would prefer just to mince your meat somewhere else where you trust the butchers but those ones around there i didn't like it okay let me first taste this because i'm my mouth is watering hmm Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is so good. Honey, you did a great job. Fantastic. Thank you. As always. You did not disappoint. Please marry me again. <laughs> this is really good goat meat. Very soft. My kids will love this. And have fun at the slaughterhouse when you go. Bye.